specific action scorecard, it definitely reminded me that I can be involved, that I do have a voice in my community, and it's important to get involved so that, you know, you can speak for your community because many people don't have a voice in this community. It's important to me, at least, to be that voice and use the power, the power that I do have. It helps you build a bigger network. It helps you make changes into the, the, the community, changes that you want to see. It helps you um, impact the environment, as I already said, and also it helps you with civic engagement. You go through a lot of tough things migrating to this country that you never forget where you came from and I feel like that's something that's super super important uh, to remember because it helps you stay humble and it helps you keep your feet on the ground. If you want to be a part of ISET, the easiest way will be through the Civic Action Scorecard. For those of us who might be slightly intimidated or shy about maybe trying to get civically engaged, this is definitely a good way of starting off. It's small, it's simple, and it's kind of like practice, you know? It's, it's, it's a start, and from there you can kind of get better, and you definitely find yourself getting more passionate about it as you go along. It gets easier. So I feel like the Civic Action Scorecard, there's so many things that you can do. You can go to a farmer's market, you can volunteer at soup kitchens, you can take public transportation, which is on there, and it's five points if you didn't know. Number 18, the environment and sustainability. Attend, participate in MDC or community-led workshop. Creating your Civic Action portfolio is easy. Your civic action portfolio can be created in a variety of mediums, from a text document to a video. It's completely up to you. For each of the 75 plus civic actions, there are three steps you must take. First, you do the action. Then, you document the action by taking a picture, uploading a certificate of completion, or even saving a ticket stub from an event you attended. And finally, you reflect on the experience of completing the action by answering the questions associated with that action. And that's it! That's all you need to create your very own civic action portfolio. And one of the personal benefits that a student can receive by being a part of ICED is once you reach 100 points, you qualify I believe, for a bronze reward and that allows you to be acknowledged in front of your peers and in front of uh, faculty and staff here at Miami-Dade College and I think that's beautiful because I personally don't do it for the recognition, um, but I think that your hard work and your dedication should always be recognized regardless. You know, because it, again, you don't do it for the recognition, but when your hard work is recognized, you feel that sense of like, wow, I'm making a difference in my community, I'm making a difference, and, and I really am helping build up one another in my community. It takes one to make a difference. Contribute to the well-being and development of your community. Be it learning about environmental sustainability or um, something that I'm passionate about recently, democratic engagement, or just proposing something yourself, which is also an option. But recently, I've been more passionate about um, democratic engagement. You know, I've just, it's just kind of strike a chord with me being able to kind of connect with that, you know, being able to make a difference and learning about new things and being able to make change within my community and for the people around me, you know. My family, my friends, and all my loved ones are here. And of course, I would want to make the decisions and that are most important to me that would benefit them. If you don't make decisions about your future, others will. Be ready to participate in the political process. Be a change maker. I feel like I said um, has really given me that push to be involved in my community. Why do I say that? Because I have always wanted to be involved in my community. Well, definitely I've learned uh, quite a bit while being at ISED, um, specifically a lot more about my representatives and what's going on with my community. Many of the things that I've learned in the past couple months, I didn't know prior. And it's definitely kind of lighted a fire to kind of know what's going on, get more engaged, know more about my community. Democratic uh, procedures as well as voting. I'm also collaborating them with my internship with the Civic Influencers in regards to absentee voting as well as military voting and trying to get a workshop going on in both English and Spanish so I can reach as many students as possible. Yes, I said has helped me a lot with my community. At first I was not sure if I should get involved or how it would be. I thought it was going to be a difficult process. but. At the end, I really liked it, it was fun. And when you look back, you're not looking back because of your mistakes, because of your past. You're looking back because of how far you've come. And I feel like that's what ISAT has allowed me to remember. The future will belong to people who have passion.